I had a very strong religious upbringing and I ended up doing a lot of self-harm and I ended up doing a lot of things just to try and cope with these urges that when I finally gave in to them, I went, this is, this is a physical manifestation of love. This is glorious and beautiful and any God which denies me for this, I don't wanna have a part of. Hey friend, I'm a Christian. Can I speak honestly with you for a second? You know, regardless of whether you're same sex attracted or opposite sex attracted, God calls all of us to put to death who we once were. See, it's not about singling out gay people. It's about recognizing that we are all broken people and in need of God's forgiveness. Is participation in homosexuality a sin? Yes, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 is clear on that and it wouldn't be loving of me to hide that from you. You see, not every one of our desires for sexual expressions is good. Just because I want to sleep with my girlfriend doesn't mean that's good. Just because I want to watch pornography doesn't mean that's good. At the end of the day, we need to come back to God's word and find out his intended design for sexual expression. In Genesis, we encounter Adam and Eve who are created for each other, man and woman, created differently with different roles and yet equally created in the image of God. We also learn that man shall leave his father and his mother and become one with his wife. In that context, sexual expression is glorious. All other distortions of sexual expression lead to death. I want to be honest and let you know that when you come to Christ, that doesn't necessarily mean that who you're attracted to is going to change. We all encounter different temptations, whether that's to sleep with your girlfriend or watch pornography or take part in homosexuality. But when we surrender our life to God, he empowers us with his power and his presence to step into the person we were created to be.